here's Clay Nan, and this is what he helps me do. He helps me make my colors of fondant. We're fixing to make some orange. And this is one of the parts that's kind of hard, isn't it, Clay, because it hurts your hands make, uh, working with this. I've got gloves on, so if you hear the camera rattling, that's why I apologize. But uh, I'm anal when it comes to wearing gloves and having a clean shop. I don't, I don't play with no dirt and germs. <laughs> okay, let me give you some orange. All right, we're gonna, hold on, we'll give you some more. This is hard to do, trying to hold the camera. But uh, he's gonna make this, we're gonna make one of the tiers of this cake be, um, we're gonna make one of the tiers of this cake look like the car, the General Lee. And so that's why he's making me some orange. I'm gonna take and make some brown, and then I'm gonna turn this into navy blue. What? So this looks like art paint. Yeah, looks like art paint. We have the air condition on out here. We ha we um, haven't had a cake order, so we haven't been in the shop. So uh, the air condition is trying to cool the shop down. So if you hear that, that's what it is. And we've got cakes in the oven over there, so it's a little bit warm out here. You were sweating. He had been working on his bed. You're gonna need some more. I'm gonna sit this down and give him some more color. Okay. I'm gonna give you some more. Now, don't get you know, on your gloves first. Yeah, that, do that first. No, it will. It just, it, it, I'd like it in the bonnet more than I'd like it on your gloves. <laughs> you know what this color reminds me of? What's what? that candy you can buy at Cracker Barrel? I don't know. It's like peanut, peanut, peanut. Oh, yeah, those little peanut puffs or yeah, peanut. That's the color. Those marshmallow yeah. peanuts. That's still not orange enough, buddy. We gotta do it again. All right, put it over here. Try that and see what, I think that'll probably work. One thing about these colors, when you need them real dark like this, like I just made this black right here and the, the key to making it black and, and workable is to make it ahead of time if you can, if you know you're gonna have a cake that needs one of the, the dark, you know, very bright colors, deep, bright, whatever you wanna call it. Make it ahead of time because you have to put so much of the food coloring in it, it makes it real sticky. So if you can, make it ahead of time and let it rest overnight so that it's not so hard to work with when you're trying to make a cake. And that's what we're gonna do with these colors. We're gonna make them all today and, uh, and then I'll work with them tomorrow so that they're not so gummy. That looks like that's gonna work, Clay. That's gonna be, uh, it'll, um, after he, uh, I think it's still needs to be mixed some more though. After he gets it made um, and we let it rest overnight, as it rests, these colors develop and they get a little bit darker. So you can stop when it's not quite as dark as you want it because it will darken it. I smell cakes, I better go check them. Cakes out of the oven. It smells so good in here. Really, really good. Next step, wrap them up and put them in the freezer. Hey guys, we are gonna start in the shop today. I have a cake, this is um, Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> That's sad you don't know what day you're living in. I think it's Thursday. I have a cake to get out by Saturday, so we're gonna be in the shop working. I'm in the shop working. Clay's gonna come out and help me with buttercream. But I thought I'd show you where we work. This is my shop. Let me turn the light on for you. This is my shop. And this is where I work. I sit right here in this chair and get my work done. This is where I set up. You can see I use my light, my thing here and this is where I make cakes but um I just thought I'd show it to you it's not very big it's teeny tiny it works for me because it's just me I don't have anybody working with me 
Um, this is where, this is my oven down here. Pots and pans, all my supplies. It just works for me. I did have another refrigerator right there, but since I'm not taking um, orders anymore, I only do custom orders, but at the moment I'm not taking any orders. I took that out and gave it to my son. He moved out, and so I gave him the fridge for his new place. But I just thought I would show you what we're doing today. And um, here's some, um, this is something I worked on yesterday. This is like a little mallard. They're not done. And this is a goose. These, this little boy has chosen a uh, redneck extravaganza cake <laughs> for his birthday. And so I hope I'm able to uh, make him a cake that makes him happy. He said he wanted a goose, a mallard duck, a snake. Um, I had to look back at, at what I wrote down that he wanted. But anyway, those are the things that he said he wanted. Clay's about to come out here and get started making my buttercream because Clay is the buttercream king. He's amazing. He makes it great perfect every single time for me and um, that helps him feel like he's got something to do um, helping me make the, the buttercream but anyway guys I'm gonna kind of vlog a little bit through the day and show you kind of I don't uh, I'm gonna film the cake going together but I'll probably show you parts like um, I baked the cake yesterday and as soon as I bake it I wrap it and put it in the freezer and uh, that way it's um, easier to work with for me. But anyway, we're going to get busy. Clay has joined me, y'all. He's going to eat his breakfast and then make my buttercream. Huh, man? Mm -hmm. Maybe. What? You're the buttercream king, right? Mm -hmm. You feel bad today? No. No? He may not feel very good today because um, he was up with his stunt feeling bad last night. What do you think, man? Let me get something in my son. Think you'll feel better? Well, it's fine, because I know if you're like your daddy, you got to have some coffee or some Dr. Pepper or something so you can get going. So you need to, and he's got medicine for his toe over here, y'all. Woo, him and that old toe. This is a different toe this time, though. Gotta get it worked on. We just had the other toenail removed. What What about three weeks, ago. three weeks or a month ago? Now we gotta have the other one taken off. It is, I feel so bad for him, but we'll get it taken off, huh? You got it going on, don't you, man? <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a fan of spaghetti, but it was good. Did you like it? Uh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's fun. It's all right. I don't know if you can see all that smoke. I don't think so either. This is the part that you don't see in the cake videos that I make. This light's on me right here, so it's bright. I've got this one in the, uh, in the oven, in the ice box, in the freezer, and I've got these in the fridge. And uh, I'm sure you can hear it, and I may get flagged for it, but I've got my 80s rocks playing in the background over here. That's what... Uh, Helps me get my cakes made. You don't see it in the videos, but I'm over here jamming. It's funny. Clay, uh, 
I was working one day and I uh, had my earphones in so I was singing along with the, the music and uh, not paying attention and Clay uh, could hear something and he came in and looked at me and he was like, what was that noise, Mom? And I said, what noise? <laughs> it was me singing along. He couldn't hear the music that I was singing to, but I was singing, so it must have been pretty bad. Oh no. This is one of the parts that I don't usually show when I'm making cakes. I'm trying, I have an edible image printer and I'm trying to print some camo to use on this cake and I'm so not good at this. I'm trying, I looked for an image on here and now I'm trying to print camo to use. This is one of the parts that to me is frustrating because I'm not good on a computer like this. So, we'll see. I'm um, a pretty good ways with the cake. Let me show you. I've got this much, oops. I've got all three of them done and now I'm ready to start putting them together. To me, it's at its ugliest stage but this is where it will start kind of coming together and looking nice, but we'll see. Clay, where are we going? Chinese. We're gonna eat Chinese. I finished my cake. Daniel Boone finished his day, and we are going to go grab uh, some Chinese food for supper. Looking forward to it, Clay. Mm -hmm. Me too. I want some sushi. What you get, Clay? Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, you like those green beans, don't you? Mm -hmm. Look at Dad. Eating all them shrimp. And I like sushi. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I dropped it in my plate. Yeah. I like chicken and rice and sushi. Chicken, rice, chicken, sushi. Chicken and rice. That's all you eat. I need a little bit of other stuff to go with. Well, that's a lie. I wouldn't be this big if I did, ate just a little bit of stuff, huh? <laughs> I, I might eat a bunch of stuff. We're going to go in here in Walmart. It's hot. We full. Clay over there snorting like a hog. We were coming out of Walmart. Somebody said, this is too damn hot for okra. They just threw it on the ground. Or they drop it or something.